So you know how you have that perfect couple on the street? They got the 2.5 kids, they got the dog, they got the white picket fence. Well, the nicest couple usually has all the secrets. <laughs> Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. Hey, this is Kyla Denango, and today we're talking about mystery books, all right? So today's book is called Just the Nicest Couple. The author of the book is Mary Kubica. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is mystery suspense. All right. So listen, y'all, I love these kind of books. These are the kind of suspenseful books which are like they're given Hallmark movie. Like you can figure it out once you get to like the first third of the book is done. You're like, oh, my God, this is going to happen. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Psych. <laughs> Mary Kubica threw us all of the twists and turns, okay? So you're reading the book, you got these two couples, okay? Which you know to expect, just the nicest couple. One of the couples is gonna be nice, one is gonna be not so nice. So you got Nina and Jake, and you also have Christian and Lily. And Christian is this perfect guy, they're about to have this baby. You're like, oh my God, they are just so cute. Well, of course, there's a secret. There's always a secret in these books. But the levels of secret? were unexpected okay so you got a missing earring hmm you got the couples you got the friends you also have the wives being co-workers and then you have this big house and like almost the forest and the background of the houses becomes such a big deal right especially when you get to the second half of the book and Christian goes snooping around and it's like is he gonna get caught on the ring camera like what's gonna happen like fascinating okay the most important thing about this book is all of the inanimate objects that were important okay I just named those off the earring the forest the house uh the baseball cap at one time okay like you gotta read the book to figure it out but you're gonna be like Oh, I see what Kyla was talking about. Wow, look at this, look at this. Fascinating. And then the ending you would never expect, ever, okay? I would love to take a creative writing course so I can figure out where they're like, write the story like this and then completely just change this. And that's how people will love it because I think that's what's happened. I'm following along with Mary Kubica and then I'm like, no, what? <laughs> So good, but also did not see that coming, all right? Just the nicest couple, just the nicest family, just the nicest all of it, all right? So would I reread this book? Absolutely. And I know that's probably a surprise because like calling this a Hallmark movie type book is not a compliment. Those movies are very formulaic. Meet someone, fall in love, have a baby, have a conflict, boom. Very, very, very formulaic, but this one broke the norm. Okay, I was expecting the formula. I got pieces of it. So it was very different, okay? And so would I read the book? Absolutely. And I would go read other books by Mary Kubica. This is the first time I've read this author and I absolutely loved it, okay? I was on the edge of my seat in a weird way because I was waiting to like, have that satisfying, ooh, I was right. And it never came because there were a bunch of twists and turns in this, right? This is a classic mystery, very, very good, all right? So if you're enjoying this book review, consider subscribing to the channel. I talk about books every single week. And if you are interested in suspense novels, take a look at this review here. One of Us is Dead, all right? Geneva Rose, exceptional writer, and this book has tons of character. So take a look at this review and I'll see you in the next one.